incorporate. For the matter of fact that uh, I'm talking about here, first of all, create a strategy. In the strategy, first of all, deployment, or you can go into implementation of new sites, or you're going to check it out. It's a migration sort of things. Because in the new sites or deployments are little easier than your migrations. Migration, sometimes you're going to provide lots of issues. Okay, so we have different strategies for migrations, different strategy for new sites, implementation on, or deployments. Okay, the first things and the, the second things, you need to understand the business layer and application layer, also the technology layer. So we are talking about here, it is application architecture services. So you need to understand the application layers. So in the, in the in the application architectures we are talking about here information systems architectures what type of informations we're going to provide because the applications are gonna work are you know what to use data in transit okay data in transit format because data is going source to destination side okay so your approach should be understand the application layer. How the application is going to work in. So data in transit format, so what type of security, what type, like you need to provide some digital signatures or a dig, a digital, digital certificates or encryptions, hash values. So these are some technical terms you need to be understand for also going through architecture designing. In the application architecture, same times you need to check it out. What are the dif dif different type of testing? How are you going to be testing the application? Once you're going to implement the application architecture, you need to understand the business continuity plan and disaster recovery plan, business impact analysis, operational cost versus the capital expenditure. So capex, capital expenditure, versus, and also operational expenditures, you need to understand. So these are some, you know what, the bullet points I'm talking about here. Once we're going, going into the depth, we will going to see some more important terms into the thing. And also, if you're talking about the architecture side, so as this client, suppose I'm the client, okay, and you are going to deployment of the sub application like SK is going to provide me ERP solution to the clients. So client is going to ask you that how secure your, your application, first thing. Second question, is your application going to be hosted on the cloud computing or not? Like AWS or Azure, can you host this application to the cloud? Second question. Third question, is this application is going to be compliant or not compliant? Okay, so these are the, some architecture designing questions comes to the picture in front of you. So security parameters and how effective, how, what is the performance of your applications, application point of view. So you need to provide this, those answers to the client that yes, it's a best performance, it's a good benchmark, it's like is this particular application is compliant. The security mes mes measurement is very fine. So these are some questions. It will be coming to you. So I will go in, going to show you some example over there. Which second? I'm going to show you something. So that you're going to be check it out. So yes, this is type of questions you will going to be asked once you're going to implement the application architecture side. Wait a second here. I will going to send you my blogs, my YouTube sites, okay? 
and yeah, also sure. my website everything i want to send you no problem with this okay don't worry about it yeah so suppose i am talking to you guys that you are going to implement the cloud architecture application okay and in this cloud architecture first of all the questions coming from the security point of view the second question it will coming from the reliability how reliable it is because how do you back up your data what how do you implement a change okay the third question will be coming to the performance efficiency mm. application performance efficiency is, is over there the fourth question coming to the picture is the cost optimization is a cost effective solution or not so i'm again i'm going to ask you the question on the same topic like um shoji is this your application is security how much security it is how secure your application it is the second question is operational excellence how the operational excellence going to be work is this a reliable applications its a performance is very high or what type of performance of the applications is it a cost effective or cost optimization application or not so these are the some questions will be coming from your client uh, here one uh, <clears throat> doubt uh, mahesh yeah please uh, go see uh, <clears throat> when you know uh, this questions you know you can answer only based on your expertise on your previous experience like you know imagine like i have a, a 14 years of experience uh, on the or 15 years of experience on particular area of your erp systems or uh, uh, some other person have a, a area of uh, some other um, technology like a uh, say like um, sharepoint or some other applications or legacy like this so these questions whatever you have uh, uh, shown here uh, 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 like uh, to myself to answer or evaluate uh, i will be able to i will be good to answer or evaluate my cost uh, cost side security side only the technology which you have a hands on work or you have a good, uh, thorough knowledge on that area only you can um, uh, 100% accurately you can answer right yeah you're right yeah right yes yeah so here my question is like uh, as i told you before like uh, my area so i don't know anything about windows because i didn't work on windows imagine like this okay i'm just giving an example uh, the windows servers or uh, .net or asi sharepoint these things they are going to migrate to the cloud okay so mm -hmm. for as a, as a as an architect maybe um, they are a company is recruiting me as a architect so i am going to that company Uh, they have expectation okay our architect will guide us which is the best okay i can go to the azure or i can go to the uh, aws and this is this, uh, this company when they, when you go Hello. okay sorry uh, yeah so i mean rafik maybe you can mute it you know so then you know, I, in, uh, in in when i when you talk when one for yeah it will be better i got some some doubts i don't know some confusion oh. so what what i mean to say is um uh, what i mean to say is so the uh, my candidate is gone i have oh, i was telling something to okay no yeah. problem no so, problem the unique side like you see as i said like the unique side and the erp side database um, 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 obi or whatever the stuff you know so this uh, all the all these um, uh, uh, technical stuff like uh, architect so I, I, for me accordingly an architect means he must be having uh, enormous um, um, experience on the exposure on the technical part uh, starting from security uh, uh, sizing security costing uh, costing all all um, all this area you can give a uh, um, uh, good advice as an architect or good guidelines using the whatever the framework but you should have a deep knowledge on the uh, area which you are working on that is important or not 
yes it's absolutely very important prospects uh, so uh, that is why the togef is the what is the framework which is going to be you know work on the different different areas of domains as expertise on different architecture designing so uh, as you suggested that you have the experience on some different uh, things okay but uh, if you're talking about the tog app platforms okay so uh, applications data and technology architecture so you should be you know what the understanding the concepts behind it what are different different concepts at the back end so you can going to be del delete all those concepts once you're going to working on a, any different different domains suppose right now you are working on a erp applications uh, architecture domain sort of stuffs Uh, after some time, you will you have to go for some cloud, uh, you know what, uh, projects domain, or you just find out some uh, applications, or you can going to find some you know what uh, networks uh, architecture designs. So the matter of fact that once you going to be understand the concepts, the logic, the application sort of things, what is going going inside this, then you can always easily relate all those terms into your architecture designing. so uh, the togef you know what is you know what very easy if you going to understand the step by step process like in the application steps yes this is the, all those steps going to be working in the data stack architect architecture that is why uh, you know what you should be very good expertise at least 3 to 4 years exposure on the architecture level like you need to understand the information security is all about data security is all about what is privacy inform information is all about okay the designing and the understand the you know what the approval authority of the the, the companies okay and you need to uh, develop a, a high level inspirational version capabilities business values okay the cost effective solution architect actors are designing so it is all about you know what uh, step by step processes it's you know what you need to be working on this particular different things <coughs> so what i'm trying to tell you is here it's like i'm talking about the application architecture sort of thing so just try to uh, you know what create some more ideas about application architecture how well architecture i'm going to create and suppose i'm providing some you know what questions as a client like uh, applications like uh, secu like i required application security i required application performance i required application resilience i required ap applications capital expenditure and operational expenditure less so are you just going to take a plan you going to create a strategy what type of strategy i'm going to create so all those things i'm going to be answer so this is the you know what the assignments for you just try to you know what create uh, you know what all those uh, things uh, and give me the answer sir this is the right thing this is the things are we going to adopt like application architects like security point of view like operational excellence like capital expenditures because i am a client i going to invest money simple and you are a solution architect you are going to provide me so this is the right application architecture this is the things we going to adopt so as a stakeholders i am going to ask you that yes if you talking about some capital expenditure yes i am going to do it operational ex expenditures yes tell me something about all those things how effective solutions going going to provide me on this particular costing part okay so as a secure as a application architect or enterprise architect you have responsibility to and you know what provide the cost you know what cost effective solutions architecture designing to the client so that they will going to satisfy all those terms okay so just uh, yeah. uh, whatever i have i suggest to you right now just going to you know what uh, try to think and just going to create some as the application architect sir we will going to uh, do all those your questions answers on the same sort of things uh, so here here well, one thing like so the, um, recently you know like there was a requirement come you know like, like uh, uh, through one of my colleagues is saying that in a company uh, they want an uh, architect um, uh, are you interested so when i got the jd uh, when i got the job description you know it was mentioned uh, uh okay you uh, so and so uh, technology stack as i told you like uh, mcsc mcsd um, uh, oracle uh, so the name like uh, uh, five six seven uh, things they give in that at least two or three you should be expertized and uh, uh, they want somebody you know who desirable like a togaf is very good and uh, uh, itil is there is fine you know like that is the requirement okay so what i i i basically i rejected that. that uh, i told him look okay, i'm not interested it's not my profile this is what my answer why i answer like that i just want to 
tell you uh, so you can tell me if it's correct or uh, is it the wrong approach like uh, when he said you know because when i see all the products there in that organization it is used uh, as, I, as i told you like a uh, .net or a, um, a sharepoint or a, a microsoft products are there so they might be in, in future they are taking an architect there uh, they want to move to the cloud okay so in that case when i go there i have an experience on 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 the the linux stack or uh, unix stack and uh, uh, erp applications or uh, as i told you like a hyperion or obi or uh, oracle business suite all this uh, area so uh, all these things are the my area so uh, with this ex experience of 15 or 18 years of experience of uh, um, architecting solution designing on this area a person go with the only with togas uh, and go to that organization which is having the complete microsoft part it will be uh, advisable or it's not a good move what is your opinion as a, uh, you know yeah as a you know what if you work if you ch check into the job description so uh, in the job descriptions whatever the company required is available okay so the matter of fact that guys i am talking about here is you need to wait a second i'm talking to you you need to understand each and everything what i'm trying to tell you just going to analyze it as a requirement this is you are the part of you know what team where you know what you need to some security enterprise architects you need to develop and also the requirement analysis so the requirement analysis you need to create a strategy scheme sort sort of things suppose i am talking about here you need to do some benchmark i will tell you the one thing wait a second suppose you are the client suppose you are the client and i am saying to you that we are can we go into the can we go for the cloud or not the applications are running at my own premises company and i am going to ask the client that whether we have to go to the uh, loud or not so first of all you need to check it out the benchmark benchmark one, do you one know second. one second sorry sorry because here my 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 uh, question is different i believe I, I you understand in a different way i mean to say i don't have any uh, technical background on the um, uh, microsoft part okay and mm -hmm. i have this part so in that case like the organization is having on the uh, microsoft part thing if i have to gap and if i have um, unique experience and all the stuff which but i don't have uh, microsoft to like a sharepoint this and that which is which they are using the customer is using mm -hmm. and i cannot go and work as a uh, um, uh, architect for that company right mm -hmm. so uh, yeah it, suppose you don't have any experience exposure on the same sort of things then um, you know what it's not you are not the right place because yeah, that's what if i have to gap okay i, I got to gap but i so the gap is using as a tool or framework or whatever you are explaining i don't know much about gap but i'm saying so i'm using this tool to organize my technical knowledge in a presentable way to the organization which i have already the experience right it's not like uh, uh, i don't have i am blind on that area but i have a comparison with the unix okay maybe it is like that and i will google it and learn or understand and then put it in the, in the framework like that it won't be a successful move right so you have to learn uh, here actually uh, once again yeah. once again shoji uh, maybe i will be having some clarification uh, just you know correct me if i am wrong okay so that you are, what you are saying is you are actually expert in certain area that is comes under the technology right it's not the part of the architecture right uh, see what i'm saying is i want to design one uh, custom or custom or uh, custom application for example the custom application is there okay so there is one application server middleware is there there is one database is there then uh, we have some you know content management is there and then we have some certain other third party components like integration layer what are the things are there okay so that we have to, as architecture we have to get the business what is the business they want to achieve with our application that so in that application Uh, which component will play the which role okay so that uh, so that that application uh, uh, what i'm saying is application okay my application will be running in uh, os uh, like windows platform or linux platform or ibm ax doesn't matter because that is the other that is a part of the face 
that is architecture part of the phase which you can select you know but uh, our uh, you know that uh, as per architecture role is we have to give the better architecture that uh, that that design uh, like you know you are saying okay there is a two there is a two application server will be there which is in the 24 bar 7 i load will be consider how the load will be consider okay i will put one load balancer there so that the load balancer will have the more capability so that if, uh, if it is a virtual machine okay you will be increasing the number of server in future so these are the more reliable more extendable but inside the technology which one i am going to use windows 2016 server or linux server or anything that will come under the technology if we see the adm module in that architecture technology is the part of the phase so that what i uh, what i will suggest to shoji is uh, you no need to worry about the technology i know only that this is the part of the technology which i know other technologies i know doesn't matter we have to achieve the goal you know the choosing the uh, technology you can get the input from the technology experts okay if you want to get more information from windows go to the operation team you can check okay i have the see i have the component even if you select the any component like an oracle component web logic application server they have the versions in the windows as well as the linux also right so that they depend on your cap depend on your uh, requirement or depend on your your specification you can select okay my application the load will be very huge as per the business so that okay i will go with the linux i will go with the linux database which is the oracle database itself so these are the recommendation will be come in the component level you know the company will give that you know i recommendation and the technology will be selected by the uh, technical persons highly skilled technical persons but as architecture uh, we have to give we have to you know provide the disaster plan 24 bar so how the system will be up and running in future if you are going to do the any deployment there should not be any downtime these are the policy we have to set it as the magesh what is said is security yes security uh, from my you know from my experience what are the security i am concerning is uh, and shake from you know suppose if the end user accessing the application how do, what is the security we we concern like https and shake certificate level internal communications like one application to another application layer or one application to the database how the uh, you know security is handled it's based on the protocol i can use the you know secure protocol uh, in the configuration level like an application to database data source will be the you know tcps or you know that there are many things are there even suppose if i am sending the data to the outside using the web services that time i can use the tls 1.2 which is highly secure protocol so that these are the securities will be combined in the application level and then application layer level this is what this is what i am saying so that these are the points of that architecture level the security this this we will be considered if you want put the more point in the security means actually what we are doing you know all the servers uh, before we are implementing any applications or anything we used to get the approval from the information security team they will do the scanning and what are the things are there they will be we used to do the hardening we used to do the hardening in the all the servers so that it will be more secured those kind of things then okay there is a security we have the multiple level if i am not wrong application level network level network level right so that the network level security will be handled from the network team so that we will get the input from the network team okay this is my architecture so what are the security inputs uh, you know in, from the network level give the input we can implement we will put the basic ideas more uh, security inputs will be given from the particular team if i am not wrong right magesh or soji right yes yes you are yeah, right so yeah one thing one point here rafiq and uh, yes. what you say what you said uh, as of now is absolutely right you know one one angle the yes. other perspective when you see like uh, each and everything so now i am <clears throat> imagine like i am moving the the, um, uh, the the microsoft product like whatever the share point or the other application to the cloud so maybe there is a i don't have a dot net which version is uh, uh, acceptable in the cloud or the windows which version is without any problem happening in the cloud this is this area like this so many so many things like a technically you as you said like come under te technical stuff i will be blind but same way if you see that if uh, if is the the erp or like a e business suite or something is going to migrate so i will be having a visibility i know okay only linux machines is allowed in the oracle cloud only uh, these machines are allowed in the aws cloud and uh, 
this should be this the EV specific version should be 12.2.8 minimum or 12.1.3 minimum version should be there in the, in the um, uh, to, to migrate to the cloud and like that so many uh, uh, things even the application level security also there is a, a security level which can be done in the application and it can be done in the network level it can be done in the operating system level it can be done in the database level so many levels of security uh, the, 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 the expertise okay dba can do the security on the dba side application guy can, can, can do the application security side but if you have the visibility if you have the uh, idea on that area also where as, a, as an architect the, the technology guys the technical guys can come and ask to an architect architect is fine we can move, move this to the so i should know it is compatible with the cloud or not i cannot google or i cannot search and come back and do that area if you have sometimes where what happened means you are in a position you are an architect and you under the you said like a application specialist will be there database specialist will be there the storage guy will be the network guy will be there everything will be network guy will, will ask okay fine i can do this is the sort of things database guy will i can do this is the sort of things uh, this is well and good but the, if you have the idea also it will well and good otherwise you have to depend on these people and uh, you cannot take a proper correct decision on your expertise that's what i mean second part uh, you know nobody can be completely study and to become uh, in a special uh, uh, architect completely but there is in the organization the people do the architecting who come from all these areas and after 10 years that's why if you see an architect you cannot see an architect less than five years experience guy 10 years plus and plus ah, yes agreed, agreed agreed so yes, yes. The, any years experience plus this this area you should be in the in the five out of five three or four you should be uh, uh, qualified then with uh, the program you can make it beautifully uh, give the solution for the people but as you said that way we can you can go but it won't be you don't be having much grip the technology guys will know it is not possible we have to tell uh, it's not possible because i don't know maybe google say when you do it they will tell you understood Oh, so, yeah, 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 I understood, understood. Yeah. That sort of thing, so that's what I told. Like, if you have the technical area, uh, plus uh, the area which you are expertise, it will be uh, um, positive for you to, when you do the architect designing, uh, you will have, it will help you a lot to have a good stand and a good uh, cost, cost, uh, cost reduction and all this plus. Because sometimes, you know, I was, when I was working in Qatar, one of the customers told like, I am, I'm not the um, owner of the consulting company, but uh, they have a very good uh, um, trust on me. He told me like, uh, we have a half a million uh, budget by money uh, balance is there. Can we implement uh, a single sign on here with using OAA? That's what his question, direct question is, you know, he's not uh, making the RFP or nothing like that. So we have 500, 500,000. So can we mm -hmm. implement this part? So I have, okay. because as we have implemented there, we, I have to think, yeah, with this or with this two servers and with this, uh, this one, okay, maybe, you know, this sort of, uh, when, you, when you want to give some stuff, you should have the technical area also, uh, so it will be easier, I believe, you know, it will be shine. Otherwise, uh, it will be like, a, yeah. keep on studying only, I mean. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, agreed, 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 yes, yes, it's clear, it's clear. I got your point, it's, it's, it's very clear. Yeah. Oh, the guys, uh, Suppose you are a, a uh, enterprise architect in the company, or if you are the application architect, or whatever. So uh, you know what you are not expertise of everything. You required you know what subject matter expert. You are going to create a architecture, okay? But you are not the right person to you know what doing all those stuffs, technical stuffs, application stuffs, everything. So uh, if you are expert into the technology, that is it's very good in your expertise area if you are not then you need to uh, you know what sometimes you you need to learn or sometimes need to trust on the different person subject matter expert that yeah he is going to do it so, 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 so suppose sometimes he will going to you know what say that it's not going to be possible then yeah if you are not expert into the same you will need to trust on the same right ah uh, yes yes so this is the, you know, the data application architecture and if you're talking about the data architecture. So a uh, data and information. So the data architecture, suppose the first questions comes to the mind that my data is uh, the CIA, confidential, integrity and availability. 
do this you know what uh, the data is going to be doing all those stuff or not so we need to create some you know what disaster recovery plan for data architecture okay suppose data is availability all the time the data is confidential information security so the in the data architectures we need to categorize the data okay first of all the data categorization between between you know what the corporate data or it's a government data so it's a, if we're talking about the government data then you know what there this is a high confidential high confidential data or it's a sensitive data sort of things suppose you are going to dealing with a military data okay or nuclear weapons sort of data or if you're talking about some corporate data that it's a public accessible data sensitive data or it's a it's a uh, you know what most confidential data sort of things so you need to understand what type of data it is what type of category it it is okay and then you going to provide some security or then you going to provide some architecture designing patterns suppose uh, you are going to implement a deployment of data into the aws or azure cloud computing okay so all the instances like your virtual machines networks uh, okay uh, everything will be created from from the because number of features available into the cloud but your database is not going to be recovered so it is very important for you to understand that how can you recover your data from the cloud so you require some different different availability zones okay because your database is going to be synchronized between the different different locations so at the same time you need to understand what is the data replications and what is the data synchronization two two terms okay and if you talk about some data uh, you know what you know what you want to be back up your data into the organization into now uh, your companies uh, platforms and also going to, or you going to you know what back up your data into the cloud environment okay and how can you secure your data because we have different different encryption technologies coming to the picture we going to encrypt our data or key management service kms is also working on the cloud side okay and data architecture we need to understand about the data is in use that data it is in transit okay or data is in our trust so data at rest so data is archiving format so in the archiving format that what type of security you going to implement what type of architecture designing you are going to implement okay so the cost effective solutions the architectures designing where your data is going to be moving so suppose you are guys are going to use some office 365 environment okay it's a microsoft so the matter of fact that what happened your your database your data or exchange your mailbox is going to be uh, available on the microsoft end your data is there so how secure your data what type of compliance is there so as a as a data architect you need to be understand all those terms very uh, is compulsory to understand and what how going to be you know what data architecture is going to be working okay suppose if you talk about the networks layer so that data is coming from your core core layers to your distribution layers okay and we have some different different designing like like your hybrid designing okay and we have some modular approach of your data we have some pair approach on the data so we have different different designing the architecture data use cases data categorization some different different things you need to be understand how you going to secure your data how you going to protect your data so those sort of you know what and how you going to recover data so as a data point of view you can going to say that data in transit format what type of architecture designing data is at rest what type of architecture okay at data in use what type of security architecture you going to implement so uh, you need to understand all those terms very uh, in what understand the depth thanks technology architecture so hardware software and network so what type of hardware what type of software what type of networks is there so this is all the terms you need to be understand my dear friends so when the vendor specific like if i'm talking about that um, um, somebody will going to say that this is the Palo Alto is a firewall. It is it's a next generation firewall. Okay, and it's a UTM, Unified Threat Management, comes to the picture. So uh, second times we will going to check it out. What type of operating systems OS into the into into the Palo Alto firewall? The pen OS is there. Okay, and how going to be maintained in the networks? So there are different different type of you know what vulnerabilities, the threats in the technology sites. 
so once you go into architecture you need to be understand like you know what the pros and cons like the you know what as if you are a cyber crime going to do it okay so what type of security parameters how going to be you know what uh, product development product deployment sort of things okay so uh, you can say that uh, development operation and security three terms going to be working simultaneously and you going to deploy the technology sort of things so in the modern times you will see that in the all the modern applications are working as the the core teams are at the back end is development teams and uh, operation teams and security teams the three teams are working simultaneously and your technologies and your architectures are working absolutely fine devsecops is the next generation sort of things so uh, we uh, we talking about the enterprise architecture in uh, in our tomorrow things what do you suggest guys because enterprise architecture is a very big topic so we will going to cover for tomorrow so today is only we have study about the business architectures application architectures data architectures and technology architecture so whatever you going to understand what so you just going to just create some any type of assignments okay type to create a project project work whatever you expertise into this and share to me if you have time so that you are i will going to check it out what type of knowledge you got for today does it make sense uh, to you yeah well, yeah i will make it but uh, what type of assignments you are see what type of assignments you are expecting from me uh, from us like uh, any any assignments whatever you feel it yeah. suppose you worked on the application architectures uh, or you worked on the data architectures or technology architecture uh, you know what any projects so whatever you have created till now so just let me share to me so that it's good for us so that i will just take a look yes okay so that you are, so that you want the application architecture like a design like you know yeah, yeah. designing working. yes designing see, designing the layout time, see the see that that you know the last time which i sent it to you is is the network architecture so the application architecture means how me. it is connected to the physical one last time which i sent it to you so the same diagram i will modify with the service level architecture which is connecting <laughs> to the which service which is application okay. right if i'm not wrong okay perfect perfect send to me i, I will just uh, check it out it's very good for us to you know what um uh, no no, no or if you want something else if you are because if the question is clear okay we will think about the answer